All right, another quick update this morning. Uh, I've moved on to beginning the interior detail work of the wheelhouse. You can see I've mounted some of the uh, buttresses inside. I've also given the interior uh, base coat. Now, what uh, I've also completed is the um, actuating mechanism for the breathers. Uh, and the retracting hatch and now it all actuates off the same motion uh, but I'll get into this in a little bit more detail once I install my uh, end switches which will protect the uh, part from overrun so still continuing to move on with the uh, detail pieces you can see I've got my various pipes and such um, cleaned up and painted with uh, silver paint and uh, I'm going to go about installing that. This piece of pipe here needs to be installed prior to installation of the buttresses, which is why this is all put together in one assembly right now. Uh, you have to thread this pipe through, and that's why it's uh, in an assembly here and not installed separately. All right, uh, got some really good progress on the wheelhouse. I have added limit switches to the hatches and breathers, and I've also completed uh, some of the interior details uh, of the model. So let's start. I'll show you uh, how I've rigged up the uh, breathers. I'll show you the effect first. So you can see the uh, hatches are retracting. And at about the halfway point, the uh, breathers get actuated as well. So hatch is retracted, breathers are open, limit switches are what actually stopped the movement. It's not up to the, uh, the owner to have to stop it before something breaks. Uh, so this is a, like a, a two-way switch. You can see it's in the open position. Now I'm going to put it in the center position, which is off, and into the closed position. We'll just leave that alone and let it do its thing. As I mentioned, uh, I think I probably would have liked to have seen something a little bit faster uh, for the effect, but uh, this is nice and smooth and really high quality motor, durable, so that's what we're gonna go with. Now let's take a quick look underneath and you can see how this works. You can see the uh, mechanism moving there pushing the hatches in the top area breathers are moving and in the other direction you can see the two black switches are the limit switches And that's basically my uh, actuation mechanism. I'm actually really happy with it. It's nice and smooth, clean and quiet. I think it'll work out really well. All right, let's take a look uh, inside the wheelhouse that uh, I have finished up. You can see interior details and there's some lights flashing in there and I'll show you that when I get to the other side but uh, did want to point out a couple of things that I did on the inside there. You can see uh, the gauges are installed and I bent some brass rod to mimic the uh, piping. Installed a, a wheel in there. Of course the map table is all detailed out as well. Let's take a look at the other side. And you can see the atomic counter counting out the engine or whatever it does the, 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 known as the atomic counter in the movie and again you can see uh, several brass details I've also included a small utility shelf on here where the crew would have put things like tools maps and that sort of a thing so very close to being done. Uh, I've got uh, three white LEDs, uh, two warm LEDs, and one cool one. I uh, wanted to make sure we had lots of light in there so that it uh, showed all of the great detail. All right, here I just wanted to show you what it looked like actually with the wheelhouse floor 
in place. You can see you can see all the way down. Got the spiral staircase in there. Nice and bright, like I said, so you can see all of the really great detail that this kit possesses. Okay, I am getting ready to finish up this preliminary work on the wheelhouse. Um, you can see that I have installed the uh, wheelhouse windows and the uh, internal framework. Absolutely beautiful detail to the kit. My plan is to uh, mask this off uh, for the painting portion uh, of the model. Um, I want to seal this up and that's the reason I can't get back in otherwise to uh, install those afterwards. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to show you really quickly the, uh, the rear window. Uh, again, Jim Key did a great job making things easy for the modeler, provided the clear plastic sheeting. I'm just going to lay some soft cloth down. And this is the template. You can see it's marked window cutting tool. Um, basically all you do is lay your template out on the plastic, cut around it, and it will make uh, the perfect size for the window there. So that's all I've really got left to do before I start buttoning up the um, wheelhouse. And you can see that I've uh, completed the wheelhouse floor. I've mounted the depth tube, painted out the framework uh, in gold, um, nice little details in here, the, the levers actually uh, do move, uh, not that anybody will know but of course the owner will know and now you guys do too. So once I get this done, uh, again I'll mask that, install the wheelhouse floor and basically the wheelhouse module will be uh, ready for paint and I can move on to the working propeller which should be the next version.